I have some more Pokemon for you guys. Um. So, I just got a bunch of Pokemon. Uh, let's look at my Pokemon. I got four, but some of them are incredibly weak. I do need to train them up a little. Oregon City Pokemon Gym. A Pokemon game is always closed. I wonder who the leader is. It's me. Look at me being the leader. The news door is unlocked. Say goodbye, I guess. I've had my coffee now, and I feel great. Sure, you can go through. Are you in a hurry? No. I see you're using a Pokedex. You catch Pokemon, Pokedex is automatically updated. What? Don't you know how to catch Pokemon? I'll show you how to then. Oh, so he's the tutorial on catching a Pokemon. Wow, he's got a lot of Pokeballs, jeez. Why does he have 50 Pokeballs? Uh, can I get that Weedle? Continue so 50 Pokemon, or Pokeballs? Firstly, need a week and provide a Pokemon. I did. As we walked up to that thing, beat it up, and was like, yeah, that's what you do, kids. Meridian City to Pewter City. Yeah, so, doing all the way up all commands. People seem to be enjoying the, um, People seem to be enjoying it so far, and which is good, because I want people to enjoy my content more than anything else. I enjoy my content is the most important. Oh, it's angry. Um, let's speed up this nerd with a lot with worse spikes on his head. Guess I should pro. I need to catch a weedle. Yeah. Should switch to Flurp. I was expecting to get more Pokemon. Like, I, I didn't know if there'd be Pokemon here or not, but now I know there is. I mean, it's, a, it's a weed. It's a lame Pokemon of all things. Okay, I get, I get. All my encounters so far have been capturing Pokemon, but it's good. It means I have a big team, a diverse team to beat up nerds. Um, yeah, it's a Weedle. Yeah. It's funny how in the beginning of the game you're going for like, like you know, to go for like every Pokemon. And by the time I'm in the end game, I'm just like, yeah. Uh, uh oh. Okay. Like, you know, I'm like, okay, I only need a few. Like, we, we get to the end game in this, you're like, bam. Oh. Like, yeah. You're just hunting down, like, some random pseudo legendaries when you start off with. Weedles. Oh. Weedmon. I guess it's just the Weedle. 
Not bad though to do a little bit of grinding. Excited for Doom Eternal. That looks pretty awesome. Like I, I saw the uh, the trailers and the gameplay and stuff. Right, I'm like, ooh, this is a fun game. Mm. It, it looks very not realistic. It looks very quality. It's so good. It looks like a true Doom game through and through. My fat bird can beat up that fat bird. I'm, oh, I'm not gonna be able to beat up that fat bird, huh? Okay. Man, I forgot how tough these these low level fights are. Might as well such a floor. Like, you can at least take a hit before, you know, before basically dying. Everyone gets 10 XP, 10 XP. Oh. Such a grind. Yeah, I'm not gonna go grind there for a while. I'll grind closer to the city because boy. Um go time, man. Yeah. So I don't know how much of the editing I'll or how much I'll probably cutting out for this a little bit, but I'll probably start cutting them out more when I'm able to make more ahead of time and I'm able to actually edit them. And not just Record like record them the night before I'm uploading them. Cause it's like you, yeah, like when you when I'm recording them like the night before I have to upload them. It's not a lot of time. Most as I said, it's just mostly just plugging it in and um just just letting it run and then I'll have it upload to YouTube. Um, I saw Shazam again yesterday. Yes, yesterday with my dad, and my brother, and it's such a good movie. So, for those of you who don't know what Shazam is, it's this um guy who gets this magical power from a Weezord, and this Weezord's like, here, I trust you to have my power, and you're like, okay, Mr. Weezord. Oh, I didn't mean to use Leer, I wasn't kidding. I don't- I never have Leer in the beginning. Okay. Oh, okay. And, you know, and then the main character, he's like, Okay, I guess I'll have your magic power. Bam! Get school magic power. Oh. 
and um, he's essentially like the fl and like the first bit's like him trying to figure out how to use his powers, and he's very and then you know he ends up being very much like the Flash, you know, super speed, some super strength. He's got a few other things, but those are the most important ones that come into play. <laughs> And yeah, and it's just, uh, it's a really funny movie about this kid who's switching in between being a kid and being an adult and, like, trying to learn how to be an adult and, like, also trying to learn how to be a superhero. It's super good. Like, ah, uh, this... I want to talk about it. Uh, it came out more than two weeks ago, so I'll, I'll be around about it. I'll talk about it a little bit. So, one of the first scenes is um, this kid. He's in the car. Oh, I guess, spoiler alert. Bam! Big picture spoiler alert. I hope I won't forget it. Um, it's a kid in the car with his older brother and his dad. And they're driving on some Christmas place and that's whatever. Kid's playing with his magic eight ball, and you know, it's pretty lame, but it is what it is. Um, he's playing with his magic eight ball, and then his brother takes it, and um, you know, his older brother takes it, and then um. Yeah, and then the older brother asks if, like, if the younger brother is ever gonna be, like, cool or smart or something. I don't remember what it was exactly. Or if he was ever gonna be not lame. It, it was something dumb like that, like, like a bullying older brother would do. Um, and he's like, oh, outlook not so good. He throws it back at the younger brother in the car. Then... I uh, cut forward a little bit, and I'm not gonna say exactly why, but that younger brother now has magical powers. Uh, he fights you so brutal, and so this kid, he find he goes to where his dad works and where his older brother works. Oh, you know, like they, they really stop liking each other after some certain events and they're like, oh, why are you here? You should leave. And the older brother's like, I'll beat you up, I'll kick you, I'll throw you out of here. And, you know, they're like 45 now or something like that. And the younger brother, he's like, okay, okay. He throws a magic ball at him, the magic eight ball, and he's like, ask the eight ball if you're mad enough to throw me out. He sort of looks at it confused, and he's like, what? He's like, and then the younger brother, he just picks up the older brother, and just yeets him out the window, and picks up his ball, and he's like, hmm, outlook not so good. And he just continues on, and you're like, what? It was so insane. Like, it was the best thing in the entire movie, just watching him yeet his brother out of the window without a care. Like, he didn't even hesitate or anything. He doesn't struggle, like, just picks him up, yeets him out the window, and you're like, what? Excuse me? Like, it's, it's terrifying and it's hilarious. seen Shazam yet, it's, it's not the best movie I've ever seen, but it is great, it is very enjoyable, it's one of the better DC movies in the last 10 years. Wow. I should have, oh man. 
I should have made a list of like podcast things to talk about. Essentially, make this like a podcast week. Cause that'd be cool. Cause I'm not having the time that I thought I would to um, record and prepare everything. Yeah, it's at birth level four. Hey, four level nine. Yeah, um, Ember. Finally, some moves. Oh. Oh, that just worked out too well. I'm actually really. I thought that didn't do a lot of damage just because I was, you know, a Dino Ram. No, it just. It just didn't do much damage. It's just worthless. Well. Um. New Star Wars movie, I don't think is gonna be that good. I hope it's good, but. I don't think it's gonna be that good. It's just—it's hard to say. New, like, there's a new director and stuff, so it's—it's it's really hard to say. I want it to be good, I really do. But I—I I, I can't say one way or the other if, if I think like, I just don't think it's gonna be good. It might be wrong. Um, my dad actually—I think he's getting free tickets to the premiere. So I think I'm going premium night for free, so I mean, I might as well go see a movie for free. Premium night. 
even if it doesn't end up being that good, like, it's still a good, it's still a good experience, you know, watching it premiere with my family, just having a good time. This, this other rat just doesn't want my rat to have low defense. Yay! Now level 4. You're level 4, rat. Um, but yeah, like, EA, honestly, I feel like they're picking up picking up from their terrible mistakes in the other Star Wars games and they're actually going to like make a good Star Wars game? We hope the new Star Wars game. Mantic, he's got Mortal Kombat 11. Ow. And he showed me more, like, he let me play Mortal Kombat 11 when I was still it. And it's, it's insanely gory! Like, I didn't realize the game could be that gory. But it's good. It's a lot of fun. Like, it's, it's really tricky to get used to. Um, I'm not super in fighting games. And so, um, so show me, I was a little bit slow with my reactions because I didn't quite realize how fast you're supposed to be to time all that stuff. But sort of get, getting the hang of it, like, it's a lot of fun. I'm just I'm pretty bad at fighting games just because, um, like, you really need to know the different combos and stuff. Like Super Smash? Sure. I can play Super Smash just fine. It's an easy fighting game. But there's some... Um, like, like Mortal Kombat 11. There's so many different combos and stuff you can get, and it's pretty... It's pretty daunting, I will say. Just trying to get the hang of it, because there's like, there's simple uh, things you can do and like you can do just fine, but if you want to actually like beat some of the bosses, if you have to really learn your different combos and like get, learn how the different buttons all work. Like, even like a simple XAB can be, if you accidentally move a little bit, like, you can really screw that XAB, XAX into like an XA left X. And it makes you doing from like a basic attack to doing some weird complex, flip them over your head, slam them on the ground, and you're like, whoa, okay. You're all level four. Now you're not quite as weak. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do a lot of just grinding off him, um, if I have a chance to. How much? Oh wow. Or I spend this entire episode just grinding. Well, I did catch a new Pokemon. Like, the Pokemon games, from my understanding, are just, or at least from what I played too, are just really slow at the start. Um, I didn't mean to just have it all grinding, but, yeah. It is what it is, um, and I ended up rambling. I'm sorry that I didn't make much progress. I promise I'll make progress in the next episode. I'll cut out a little bit, do a little bit of grinding for that, because... See, 
Yeah. Whoopsies. Man, um, see, I'll do a little bit of grinding now because I have some time now. For the first time, I have time to, to do things, so I'm gonna cut out some time, do a little bit of, uh, grinding, and in the next episode, everyone should be about level six, and I'll figure out what I need to do for the story and stuff like that, so. Thank you everyone so much for watching. This is Electrical signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.